I'm Walter Jacobson, speaking to you from the Hearing Health Center, in my opinion, the finest audiology practice in the state of Illinois. I'm very pleased to introduce the person I've been telling everyone is responsible for changing my life, Hearing Health Center's founder and president, my audiologist, Dr. Rana Fisher. Thank you, Walter. You've been an ideal patient and your endorsement has meant so much to me and my practice. No, thank you, Rana, because changing my life is exactly what you did. Thanks again, Walter. Your hearing system's totally developed at birth. Even before you're born, you hear your mother's voice and the sounds of music. We learn to talk by listening and imitating the voices around us. And it's through our sense of hearing that we learn language and how to communicate and develop relationships. The ability to communicate via the spoken word is what separates man from all other animals. More information enters your brain through your sense of hearing than through all your other senses combined. Your hearing is turned on and working all the time. You can close your eyes and shut off your sight, and you can't see around corners. Your ears, on the other hand, are working 24-7, alerting you when your eyes are closed, even when you're sleeping warning you from a distance, allowing you to join into the laughter, hear secrets, and participate. We take simple acts like talking, listening, sharing, and interacting for granted. Communication and participation are not possible when you can't understand or hear speech clearly. Hearing aids are the only way to treat 95% of hearing issues, and they're not covered by insurance. Don't get me started. Many people simply cannot afford hearing treatment, and I find that unacceptable. That's why I started the Fisher Foundation for Hearing Health Care. I don't want to see anyone in the communities served by our offices denied access to hearing treatment and hearing aids because of financial need. The Fisher Foundation helps those least able to help themselves, the elderly, the disadvantaged, young kids with catastrophic diseases, no one should ever be shut off from the human communication because of money. The sounds of life and the voices of those you love are too precious to ever miss.